Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Taylor, if you're new here. Um, I just wanted to start off a new vlog because the one that I just posted, I think, I think it went up today. That ended yesterday and let me sit down, oh my gosh, this sucks so bad. Um, so yeah, anyway, that one ended yesterday and basically, oh my God, why is the lighting it's literally so bad in here right now? I don't understand. I'm like trying to find ways to probably guys that bad. Okay, whatever, I'm just gonna hold it. Um, so basically, I wasn't gonna go home until next week, but I was just like looking at flights um, last night, like to book and whatever, and it's Tuesday now, um, to like book for next week, and they were all like insanely expensive. And all of the ones for the rest of the week this week were like insanely expensive. Today was the only one that was like reasonable, so I was like, oh my god, like I'm gonna have to fly home tomorrow night. So I literally booked a flight like. 12 hours ago um i'm flying home tonight so yeah um basically update on my rash they just kind of said like because it's drying out and stuff they can't really tell me what it's from at this time but obviously if it happens again then i'll fly home immediately and i'll get seen um done at the hospital um so i'm kind of just playing it by ear when i go back right now um i'm trying to pack up all my stuff i'll show you guys it's really great so obviously you guys know i have everything in like packing cubes but this was on my clean laundry that I have to like fold and stuff and then all my like toiletries are down here and I have a jacket on top of it and then dirty clothes that have to go. That's my carry-on over there. And then I have to, you know, get my life in check here. So yeah. Also, I'm wearing the hold on. I'm wearing different leggings, but I'm wearing the same like Sherpa skins jacket I was wearing yesterday because it was literally so cold on the plane when I flew here, like so, so cold, that I only had like a long sleeve on and I was freezing with a jacket, so I was literally so cold, so I was like, no. So I'm wearing this again today, so don't judge me, whatever. Also, I got my time of the month last night, and oh my god, I'm in so much pain right now, it's I'm killing me. Um, so anyway, yeah, let's get um, packing here. Maybe I'll prop you guys up so you guys can see a little bit. We'll do like a little time lapse or something. I don't know. Or I'll just talk to you guys while I do this. No idea how this not ripped yet because I always like literally stuff them full of stuff and like it's just really not the best thing. I actually brought all the clothes that I or I actually wore all the clothes that I brought home this time which is actually really shocking because I usually like never do. I did, which was cool. Now I need to figure out how to get all this stuff to fit in here. Okay, I'm wearing that. This needs to go somewhere. So I'll just um, I'm probably squish in here like this. Oh wait, I forgot my dirty clothes though. I think the dirty clothes will probably fit there. I could probably stick this up here, but then I don't know if this is gonna fit. to work out trying to get the freaking suitcase to close but it closed I have to go downstairs and get a bag for my dirty clothes and then I'll talk to you guys in a little bit Okay, 
Hello everyone, I finally made it back home. I'm in my house again. I'm so excited to be back home again. Just like, freaking relax. Um, yeah. Tomorrow I'm gonna explain exactly what happened on the flight today because it was like a hot mess express, but anyway, I wanted to show you guys something really quick. Um, so I remember I showed you guys these for that my mom got us for Valentine's Day. Well, she got one for me in Austin and it actually stayed like okay in my carry-on. Like they didn't melt at all, which I was like really surprised about, honestly. And then look how cute this is. Austin surprised me in the car with this because I wasn't here for Valentine's Day. A little balloon. These peanut butter cups, this chocolate, these chocolate covered pretzels, and then these Dairy Joy coin things. It's so cute. He's literally so cute. Um, look at this. He's literally so funny. Um, but yeah, I still have all my stuff here. I have to unpack that suitcase over there and I have to make the bed. Um, yeah, it's, um, you know, we're back again. I feel like I was, um, gone for so long even though I really wasn't. But anyway, I think I'm gonna put the vlog away for for tonight. I'll pick it up again tomorrow um, for you guys. But, yeah. I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm going to go unpack my suitcase and stuff and then get to bed because I'm so tired right now. Um, but anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. Hello, everyone. Good morning. It's the next day now. Um, just took a shower and whatnot. And... I am now going to, if I can put it here, I'll work better so you can see. Um, I hope this isn't too loud, but, oh, wait, hold on, Austin's mom's calling me. Hello? I forgot my eggs and my olives. Oh, okay, you want me to drop them off? No, I'll be, I'm turned around, I just wanted to let you know. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Bye right, bye. She forgot her eggs and her olives. She's on the way back to them. Okay, well, yeah, give me one second. Let me get those. Okay, we're going to have a little chat while I do my makeup. Um, because I know I told you guys I would tell you the story about the airplane situation. Um, okay, so you know, like right before you're ready to board. You have to scan your ticket, whatever. So this lady was in front of me. She had all these bags. She had like her Valentine's Day flowers. She had her little makeup bag. She had two jackets. She had another bag that went over here. And then another bag. Clearly you can't bring all that stuff with you. Like on a flight. Like unless like you're going to. Usually people put it in one bag and then they'll check it. As, like, or they'll put it as like a carry-on bag and they'll pay for it. No big deal. So she gets up there. And she thinks all of her stuff. Mind you, she like can't even hold it all in her hands. She thinks it's all going to be classified as a personal item. So they're like, you're either going to have to pay or you need to step to the side because you need to board this flight. So she steps to the side. So I like get on the plane, whatever. I'm like, oh, like she's just not going to be able to bring all of her stuff. She's going to have to pay whatever. So I see her like get on the plane and I'm in row five. So like I see everyone getting on the plane, whatever. I'm already in my seat. So she puts all of her stuff in like the overhead compartment in row one. So I'm thinking like, okay, maybe she's sitting in row one, whatever. So she puts all of her stuff at the top. Everything's like falling out of the overhead bin. She looks like under distress. So I'm like, weird. Okay, whatever. So then she goes and sits down in row one. And the flight attendant is like, can I see your boarding pass? She wasn't in row one. She was all the way back, like in the back of the plane, like row like 20 something. I don't even know. So... They make her move back there, and the flight attendant's like, do you want to take your stuff in the overhead bin? She's like, no, just leave it. Whatever. We pull out. We're on the runway. And the next thing I know, I'm, like, waiting for us to take off. And we, like, we're, like, driving again, and we, like, pull back into the gate. Flight attendant gets on, and she's like, um, as you can see, we're back at the gate again. There was a customer service issue that needs to be taken care of. So everyone's like, Jesus Christ. And everyone, like, kind of thought that it was her that was, like, sitting, like, around me. Just because of like how much like a, of a scene she made and she got on the plane. So we're all like, oh god, like it has to be her or whatever. So three security people come on the plane and they walk to the back like where she's sitting. 
and she like gets escorted off the plane and like obviously she had to get her stuff in the overhead bin so like we see her like right in front of us like getting all of her stuff down she's like making the security she's like throwing her makeup bag at the security guy one of the security guys making the other security girl like hold her jackets and stuff and then she just like gets off the plane and then we like finally departed but i guess what happened is she refused to wear her mask on the plane which obviously it's like a federal law like you have to and then she was like bitching about how she had to pay extra or whatever and like being loud in the back of the plane or something like that so I don't know, but it was like so weird. I've never seen somebody get escorted off the plane before, so it was kind of like, whoa. So weird, but anyway. I'm just doing a little bit of makeup now. And then I really need to get out of the house today. If I can find my makeup brushes, but anyway. Okay, I'm going to finish my makeup now, and then I will talk to you guys. When I'm all finished. Okay, I just got out of Ulta, as you guys saw. I wanted to show you guys what I got. I went in because I had a gift card, but I needed more bronzer because um, I had like a bronze, the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and highlighter like together. It was like a dual one, but I ran out of all the bronzer already, so now I just had the highlighter left. So I had to get another bronzer, and I'm not really big on buying like the whole big thing of bronzer, so I got this mini travel size one and I hate big products anyway because my makeup bag is kind of small um and it lasts me a while this was only I think like 15 bucks or something it's the NARS bronzing powder in Laguna Let's see if I can I've heard really good stuff about this but I've never tried the NARS um bronzer before so I figured I would give it a try I was going back and forth between this and the um what's it called The NARS and the um, the contour one from um, Estee Lauder. If you guys can see my hand. It's like this really pretty color. So we're going to give this a go and see if I like it. I really like the Charlotte Tilbury one. But every single time I go to Nordstrom and try and get it, they always tell me they have to order it because it's like out of stock. So I just figured I would try something different. If I don't like it, I'll just return it. And then, why is this not going back in the box? Whatever. And then the other thing I got was I needed a new setting spray. I haven't been using setting spray in probably like a year just because with COVID and everything, I never got a new one. And I've always used the Anastasia one, but the one that was in like the purple and black bottle, if you guys remember. So I used the, you guys can see the Anastasia Dewy set. Um, I got the small one as well, but I don't wear makeup that much, so it doesn't really make sense for me to get the big size and products, honestly. So I'll show you guys. It just looks like this. And yeah, it's a dewy one. I don't know if I'm gonna like the dewy just because I tend to like the matte finish and things. And I hope this is not sparkly, but we'll see. So I will let you guys know how I like this. I really am hoping I'm gonna like this because I hate having to go return things. I just went and returned that keg though. It's so funny. Um, but yeah, that's my little Ulta haul for you guys. I just had to pick up those two things. Um, maybe I'll try them out today when I get home and see how I like them. Um, my next, like, makeup purchase, which I don't shop for makeup often, but I want to get the, um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. I usually don't wear anything on my lips except for, um, I'll show you guys what I usually use on my lips. I either use the Cocoa Butter, like, chopstick, which I love, the packaging like rubbed up rubbed off on this already because I've had it for so long or I love the Dior um it's in the shade 465 shock it just looks like this it's like the prettiest color ever and I love this because it's like not sticky but it gives you like the prettiest shine I don't know if you guys can see that but it gives you like the prettiest shine it's not sticky at all and it actually lasts a while so I love that um yeah they're my like two go-to's but i don't know i just needed that stuff and i only had to pay ten dollars too because i had 25 dollars gift card so it's really good a really good deal actually but i'm like a big person i'm like if i don't like something i will return it even though i hate returning i will always return it because i just hate clutter in my house and like why not get your money back if you don't like something you know what i mean but i thought that was a really good deal for those two things 
um and i love travel size products i think they're like the cutest thing ever and i love like trying new makeup too so like why would i get the big thing if i'm only gonna like give it a try you know especially because i don't wear makeup every day either but the girl in there tried selling me on a 45 dollar bronzer and i was like <laughs> not today not today but anyway i have to run to walmart now um it's 221 because i want to get that shoe rack from there but That was probably the worst thing I could have done after just putting that lip gloss on. Because now the lip gloss is literally all over my cup. Things are working really well for me today. Also, we live right by a school. Like, the school is, like, literally right next to our house. And I had to carry the keg out of the thing. If I can, like, I might insert, like, the ring camera, like, watching me put it out. It's literally the funniest thing ever. Um... I'm literally right in front of a Target and I really want to go in, but I'm like, Taylor, you don't need anything at Target. So, so I'm just like walking around there, but then I want to buy everything. So I don't think I'm going to do that today, but I'm going to go to Walmart now and then I'll show you guys what I end up getting. Oh, I have to get tampons too. I ran out of tampons and I got my lady friend. Yeah, that's just so fabulous. So yeah, I have to run there too to get those but yeah there's so many people out today it's kind of crazy but it's actually so hot today it's 84 so I'm like in a tank top it's crazy I was literally just in snow yesterday and now I'm back home and it's so warm and I love it yeah okay anyway I'm gonna go to Walmart right now okay I just got back from Walmart I figured I'd do like a little haul for you guys really quick I got some sweet potato fries. I haven't been able to find the Alexia brand literally anywhere, but Walmart had it. Then got some body wash, just use the Dove kind. Um, I love these personal wipes. Actually, sorry if it's TMI, but I love these things. They like, they're fabulous, I think. Especially when you're like sweating in the heat. Fabulous for girlies. Um, some tampons, sorry, TMI. I use Tampax Pro, I love them. And then I got two things at Cliff Bars for Austin. He likes the coffee ones. I got the caramel macchiato ones and the dark chocolate mocha ones. And then, hold on a second. Those are just sitting on the Pop-Tarts. I got him the strawberry frosted. That's what he likes. So, yeah, here's a little grocery haul for you guys. I'll, I'm going to go put this away and then I'll, I'm going to go tackle that room in there. Okay, I just got all ready now. It's way later from when I got home. Um, it's six o'clock now. I'm actually going to happy hour with Maddie and I think Austin's gonna come too. So I just got all ready, did my makeup. I actually used the new products. I just filmed Get Ready, Get ready With Me too. So you guys can head over to my channel and look at that video. But I'm just gold hoops. Shirt is from Zara. Pants are American Eagle jeans and then my Nike tennis shoes, which you guys know I always wear um but i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i hope you guys liked it i'm so happy to be back home again and i will see you guys in my next vlog bye guys